Ignite. How are you? I hope you've had a good week. So this week is our last week going through the story of Joseph. And I wonder, what can you remember about the story of Joseph? In the first week, we learnt that Joseph was Jacob, his dad's favourite son. And he gave him a special coat. But his brothers didn't like that, did they? They got angry and they sold him into slavery. He sold him to be a slave. The second week, we looked at Joseph in Egypt, where he was a slave to a man called Potiphar. But Potiphar's wife told some lies about him and that meant that he went to prison. Do you remember that? And we learned that we shouldn't tell lies, we should always tell the truth. And then the third week, we looked at jo um, the dreams that the, um, the baker and the butler had in the prison where Joseph was. And Joseph told them what those dreams meant. And do you remember what he said to the butler? He said, remember me when you are, in, when you are released back to Pharaoh. But did the butler remember him? No, he didn't. He forgot. He forgot to remember him until Pharaoh had some very strange dreams in his sleep. And he dreamt, can you remember what his dreams were about? There were about seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. And the skinny cows ate up the fat cows, telling Pharaoh there was going to be seven years of lots of food and then seven years of no food. And because with God's help, Joseph could understand that dream and told Pharaoh, Joseph get, Pharaoh gave him the special job to help prepare for those seven years of famine. That's when there's no food. And Joseph became a really important man in the land. And we saw that that meant that his dreams that he had when he was little, when he was with Jacob and his brothers, were coming true. And all this was part of God's big plan. And then last week, can you remember last week? Last week, the brothers had to go and get some food from Egypt because they had no food in the land of Canaan where they lived. So they went to Egypt to get some food. And Joseph recognised his brothers. He knew they were his brothers. But did his brothers recognise him at first? No, they didn't. They probably didn't even expect to see him. They probably thought that Joseph was dead. But they saw him. And then when they realised and Joseph said, it is me, can you remember what those brothers had to do? They had to say that they were sorry for all those things. And he tested his brothers to see that they were really sorry before he told them who he was. And that's where we are now in the story. Now, this final part of the story is about how Joseph responded how Joseph went back to his brothers when he told them that they are they were that he was Joseph so you know what you can do you know you can watch your videos down here there's also another video which would be good to watch maybe afterwards about forgiveness which is what we're going to be talking about today so when you're ready go and find one of the videos to watch three two one off you go now I hope that you enjoyed watching one of those videos, or maybe you watched all of them, I don't know. But in this part of the story, we learned that when Joseph revealed himself to his brothers and they said sorry, Joseph had to forgive them. And forgiving somebody means that when they say, whether they say they're sorry or not, it means that you're not angry against them. It means that you're not holding, um, you're not feeling annoyed or sad still. It would be like if your brother or sister maybe took one of your toys and maybe they broke it and you're probably feeling very, very sad about that. But are you going to stay angry with them forever and ever and ever? Probably not. At some point you will probably say, it's okay, I forgive you, it's okay. I know that what you did was wrong, but I'm not going to be angry with you anymore. And that's what forgiveness is all about. And forgiveness is a lot bigger than that as well when we talk about God. Because as Christians, we believe that God forgives us for all of the bad things that we do. 
and we all do lots and lots of bad things, even things we might not realise are bad things or feelings we might not realise are not good. We all have them and we all do it. Even your mums and dads have those thoughts and feelings sometimes. And God forgives us. God says, it's okay, I know you've done loads of bad things, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop loving you or stop you being my friend. God says that I I will forgive you. I will forgive all of your sins, all of the bad things that you have done, and I will be your friend. And that is because Jesus died on the cross. We believe that at Easter time, when Jesus died on the cross, he died for all of those bad things that we have done. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more in the next couple of weeks leading up to Easter. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. But it's something for you to think about, about how God forgives us for all those bad things, even though he doesn't have to, but because he wants to be our special friend. And that's what I'm going to leave you guys with today. I want you to watch the video down below about forgiveness as well, because that's really helpful. So we're going to say a prayer and we're going to thank God that he forgives us when we do bad things. So you might want to think about something you've done that's not quite right, maybe was a bit naughty. But you need to ask God and say, I'm sorry, God, please forgive me. So let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that you forgive us for when we do naughty things. Thank you that even though we sometimes do naughty things and do bad things and think bad things, you still love us all the same and you still want to be our very special friend and thank you for the story of Joseph where Joseph showed us how we can forgive people even when they've done something really really awful but also thank you that, that this story shows that you work everything for your good thank you Jesus amen amen now this afternoon we have got a zoom uh, YouTube Zoom we're going to watch the film of Joseph which will be lovely to watch together so you can join if you can at three o'clock on Zoom. If not we've got um, Family Connect next Sunday at four o'clock and we will have some more videos again then too. So I hope to be able to see you or hope you join in with one of those events. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>